Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blabbing Solutions. So in today's video tutorial, we will be looking at how to create this lovely church radio flyer. But before we begin with this video tutorial, I want to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time in here, this is Blabbing Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature would be of great benefit to you then i encourage you to hit on the subscribe button don't also forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comment box below if you are already a part of this lovely family thank you so much for showing up once again without any further ado let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin Alright, so in front of you, you could see these are the resource files that I would be using. So the client actually sent me uh, three pictures that I have the flexibility to choose from. Is it flexibility? Alright, so uh, you can see we have a, a cloth like image here. We have these uh, uh, images. I have a picture of a radio. I have the logo and the text file all right so now let's jump into the world of photoshop so what we are going to do in here is first of all we are going to create a working uh, space that is creating a new document so uh, i'm going to use a size by uh, of eight by eight inches so actually this flyer isn't going to be printed it's going to be shared across our digital platforms that is to say whatsapp facebook and the rest then maybe whether to maintain the rgb color or maybe change it to cmyk so if you've been watching most of my videos you realize that anytime you would want to print a document or an image you are supposed to change the color mode to cmyk but if we are not going to print it then we are going to leave it to red green blue so everything is looking quite nice in here so if we are done just hit on create but one last thing we need to give this a name so let me say church radio then let's click on create all right so we have a working space in here now the first thing we, we need to do is i'm going to be working on the background but before i work on the background uh let's let's take a view on this all right so i have this image in here and uh, looking at the background of the image, the background seems to be nice. I, I kind of blend with the color that was used for the backdrop. So I'm thinking maybe using the background of the flyer as this backdrop color will be something cool, right? Great. So let's check the second image. Okay, so which more, uh, more of looks like the same, the previous image that we just watched, but it seems this is a bit uh, brighter than the than this okay then let's take a look at this one so uh, okay so I, I, I well I'll prefer the two images so I'm going to turn this off the visibility for this off and uh, maybe I would either choose to go with this or uh, this okay so me choosing this that has nothing to do with whether I'm going to use the, the image but i'm looking at the backdrop color okay so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to create my background then uh, we continue with the video so to do that let's create a solid color okay by coming to the adjustment and uh, let's click on solid color good then we are going to take a sample from the edge the darker part of the backdrop so something like this looks great something like this looks great it looks great it looks great okay then we are going to click on okay and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new layer on top of a solid color that i just did so this create a new layer and we will be choosing our brush tool so b for the brush or come into the tools panel and let's choose the brush tool good so we need a round, a soft round brush, right? Uh, let's increase the size to 
something big so with your close box or square bracket on your keyboard you can uh, increase the size and with your open square box bracket on your keyboard you can decrease the size right good so now you can see i'm increasing the size of the brush i think this looks okay then what i'm going to be doing next is to come up here and let's pick a sample from the lighter part of the backdrop right so let me choose this and uh let's choose something this way okay so i guess maybe this portion will look nice so let's click ok and uh you realize the color in here was previously white but now this is what we have in here right so uh, i'm going to turn the visibility layer of these images off so i can see how my background looks like then i'm going to come or center this and just hit so i have something like this something like this and i should be okay with this so this is the background right great so let's hit on uh move to by you can press v as your shortcut key and um let's go and import one of our resource file which is this silk cloth right good so we're going to be bringing this on board so let's hold and drag this to photoshop so we can drop this in here this way and uh let's drag this uh a link to the resource file will be left in the description below so please do want to check it and uh, download the resource file so you can also follow along right great so we have this nice looking uh, cloth background so the rationale behind this is uh, you realize the background is a just a plain color okay so we want to put something like this cloth in here so it brings out the flare you know i don't know how to put it but uh, we, we just don't want to have a plain background with this uh, cloth placed in here let's come to our blend mode options over here and we can choose among these blend modes right so we uh, I currently don't have the type to choose so we are going to select them one after the other to see which one best works then we pick that one right good so let's uh, dissolve wouldn't work so let's move on to darken no multiply uh, this kind of look great okay so let's check the others and see if we have something excellent so color burn linear burn wow linear burn kind of looks amazing linear burn okay so we keep linear burn and multiply All right, so the rest are no so we are choosing linear band okay so that is our background so now let's group them and name it background so with your first layer selected let's just hold on your shift key click on the last layer and press ctrl G on your keyboard to group this now we can rename this and say background layer great so now the next thing i'm going to be doing is to bring in my logo or the church the radio station's logo but before i import the logo i'm going to create a place logo placeholder so with my rectangle to selected i'm going to be drawing something of this this should be in white uh white this should be in white okay then i'm going to be placing this in here um let's hit ctrl t this kind of looks plain let's hit on ctrl t right click on it and let's choose wap so we can uh hold the anchor point in here and drag this inside this way right hold this portion as well and drag this outside and if you are done just hit ok and there you have it all right so uh quickly let me bring in my logo this is my look not going to work on i'm not going to do anything special on this logo i'm just going to uh, take off the white background in here so with my magic one to selected 
um, the shortcut keys W magic one to selected I'm just going to hit on the white portion in here and I'm just going to add a layer max in here okay there you have it. so you can see we have an uh, an inverse of it just hit on control I to get what you need back okay so there we have it then select my move tool once again control T to rescale this back to normal uh, a sizable shape that I think will best work for me all right I think this is okay then I'm going to shape this on top of the uh, logo placeholder all right good and maybe hit enter and there you have it so now that i have my logo created i'm going to be grouping this the logo and the shape hold ctrl j to group them and i'm going to name this logo right so now uh let's work on the text i'm just going to co be copying and paste and copying and paste and you know and there you have it so the name of the station is radio mac so I'm going to be using uh, a font by name lemon milk let's choose a white color for this and uh, I'm going to replace it this guy over here. so maybe let's uh, make it increase the size a bit so radio mark then the next thing we are going to be having here is uh, presents okay then the, the present will be somewhere deep down so i'm going to duplicate this guy and type the present from it so that is it for the present and the next thing we are actually going to work with uh, work on is the McAfee live worship so i'm going to be using a font by name kenyan coffee let's close the space in here so i'm going to separate the worship from the uh, McAfee live right great then i'm going to be increasing the size of this then let me duplicate this down here then let me paste the worship for it All right good so we can choose to increase this guy as well and this looking nice so uh what i'm thinking to do right now is you realize when you watch uh tv programs and they are live on the tv uh they kind of have this red rectangle uh, with the live written in it and it makes it look kind of you know imp important and let's say yeah live live so that kind of feeling is ringing a bell here so i would want to do say so let's go on to our shape to uh, rectangle shape to and let's draw a rectangle like this so and maybe change the color to that of red and let's push this guy beneath them and let's make it live maybe the red isn't coming out let me let me make it more oh, wow okay there's the red we can have great so uh, we can push the shape here live wow mm, is, it, is it is it looking nice is it looking nice okay so how about we making uh, this live small letters so uh, let me actually take off the life away from the cafe and let me make it stand on its own so so uh, uh, the e line. so let me uh, bring the shape to match that of this and maybe i can position this guy over here so you can actually select both and you know position them this way all right and this is happening with the uh the host which is the name is attentive ben adam so i'm going to be duplicating this shape over here hold your alt key click on the layer and drag this guy yeah this looks nice and uh i'm going to be creating uh, an ellipse shape uh this way so with my circle or my ellipse tool selected hold your shape key and let's have something this way then i'm going to uh make this red same red color this should be placed on top of the worship all right then i'm going to be choosing a font by name uh southampton or maybe let's say 
the Britannia script. So I'm just going to be typing with right W I T. Then maybe reduce the size of this to about nine. Then we're going to be placing this guy over here. Nine is too big, so let's make it eight. All right, so we're going to place it. And maybe let's make it bold. All right, so that is it. So Makafi live worship with attend to Ben Adam. So now uh, I'm going to group these texts together and make them as one group. So with my first layer selected, we roll on, we roll down to the last, and uh, we group these guys this way. So Control J, and I'm going to name this topic. Great. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to create a shape. A uh, rectangle shape on top of the background. So uh, come over here this way and let's go this way. So the 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 thing the uh, what the, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to bring in uh, my radio image. All right. So let's go. There goes my radio image. So let's kind of hold and drag this guy over here. And, we're going to be placing this guy in here so i can uh, choose to decrease the size of my radio you know yeah and there you have it it looks great it looks great it looks great there you have my radio in here so what i'm going to be doing is well you realize the radio is a bit kind of hanging and it does not look real so i would want to create uh some illusion that the radio is uh seated on the ship or yeah or it is it whether sitting or standing or something like seated on the ship right so i'm going to be creating a new layer not on top but it should be beneath the radio layer so let's hold and drag this down i created a new layer and uh i'm going to be uh, creating a brush tool so with uh, the brush tool selected once again and i'm going to be changing this color to uh, let me say something black but not all black right great then let's reduce the size of this to uh, something small I, I believe you remember what key to press to reduce the size if you don't uh, it is the square bracket key or the open square bracket key that will help you reduce the size so I'm going to be just clicking anywhere this way, realize, and let's uh, select our move to shortcut key V, right? Good. So with this selected, press Control T and hold your shift key to drag this guy down. So let's hold the other side as well. And let's bring this guy together, right? Good. So we can actually drag this guy up here. Uh, okay, let's still make this guy small. All right, so we can bring this guy here. Okay, so uh, let me ask a question. Isn't this looking okay co as compared to this guy over here? You, like, you see? So more of uh, the radio casting a shadow onto the ship, you know, and it looks realistic. It looks nice, right? Great. Okay, so uh, the next thing we are going to be doing here is to group uh radio and the and its shadow control g so let me name this radio great the next thing we are going to do is to bring in the image of the host uh so i've already made the selection so i'm just going to turn this off and i'm going to bring this image in here so uh well i didn't make a perfect selection so you realize this portion the down part of the image is not perfectly selected the reason being that i'm not actually going to be using the entire portion so uh that is it for that so what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be holding this guy and dragging this guy on top of here and uh, placing him here right great this looks amazing oh my god this looks great good so we're going to hit it uh, and you realize this guy is seated on the ship. I don't want it done this way. So I'm going to be dragging this layer down till I 
locate my shape so this guy should be under the shape this way and we have him looking this way isn't that nice please show some love in the comment box like this video if if you think this looks amazing this is amazing. oh my god wow all right so um there you have it we are actually done but not done would have to bring in some of the uh some of the text and with that one i'm just going to fast forward just to save enough time right great so uh that will be the uh what do you call it join us to worship this and every sunday at 2 p.m to 6 p.m and uh for any inquiries and you know we are going so that will be that but uh to make some changes in here i would want to change this red color to a color that matches this shit right so let me double click in here and make a sample out of this color and uh well i'm not i'm not i'm not feeling the color i'm not feeling the vibe in here okay so let me choose something this way good then uh with the name with the name i'm going to uh select uh this darker part let's see if we get something darker, 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 darker. great 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 that looks nice that looks nice so i'm um, uh more of going to just type this this text i'm uh, more of going to be typing this text so um it says uh join us as we worship our maker this and every sunday the time is 2 p.m to 6 p.m and for sponsorship advert administration you know call so i'm, I'm just going to be copying and pasting this text and i'll get back to you guys shortly all right so you can see as we have here this is what i was actually talking about and uh let me kind of push this guy up here a bit and maybe bring this guy down here a bit so we can ship these guys you know so one last thing that i would want to do is to write uh, on radio mark just uh, in front of the radio so uh let me just say so o n radio then mark great so um then maybe let me add the frequency of the radio i think it's 105.5 fm and uh to make the radio mark stand out i'm going to be creating a shape uh shape of this so to you know bring this guy uh, make it make him stand out make him stand out so um a shape of this color would do i don't know but i, I guess it should do Okay, so the shape should be the shape layer should be beneath this guys and you know and uh all right. So uh let me change the color of that of the radio mark to uh let me say something this way. Great. All right guys, so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. I believe you learned something in here. If you did, please do want to give this video a like. Please I beg you, please like the video if you love it. Uh, liking the video tells uh, the YouTube algorithm that most people are interested in videos of this nature. So YouTube algorithm will recommend this video to plenty of people. Okay, so please like the video and let me know your thoughts in the comment box. What do you think about this design? Is it okay? Should I have done something? L let me know your thoughts. Okay, let's share ideas in the comment box below and I'll be glad to give a feedback. All right, so please stay tuned for more. Uh, it's still Blabbing Solution, and see you in the next video.